All right, what we got here is a um, microscope. I don't know what kind. It's really old. It's from like the 50s, but uh, it's um, my dad's passed down to me. And um, in the image right here, you can see through this little thing. I have the camera just right onto that lens. That right there is the base of Bali's tooth. All right, this is my snake my room, everything you've seen before, um, not messing around, so yeah, here is the base of his tooth, I can't really move it around too much right now, for some reason my camera's not really focusing, but um, I, I'll, I'll have a part two of this where I'll have a, the, uh, like the tip of it, so like his fang. It, not really, a, they don't have fangs, but, you know, just the tip. So, uh, um, yeah, this is uh, my snake's tooth in a microscope. It's a base. You can see how it's almost hollowed out there. Um, it's been out for a long time. There's a little chip in it, too. I'll see if I can get a better image of that, too. But, uh, yeah. Snake tooth. Bolly's snake tooth. There he is. I was, um, I, I check inside of his mouth periodically just to see if there's any mucus or if any signs of respiratory infection because uh, he, he did have one at one point in time so um I just kind of check that every so often I do that with all my other snakes too but uh I do it with like a little q-tip and I noticed that um the q-tip had this little thing poking out of it so um when I uh when I had uh the q-tip I pulled it out and I realized that it was this tooth that had fallen out and um that's normal snakes lose their teeth Whatever. Usually people can't find them, but I was very fortunate to find one of his teeth stuck into the Q-tip. So, um, yeah, there's the base of his tooth, and uh, we'll have the tip in another video. Stay tuned.